Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix error 0xC000012D when starting an application in your Windows. Now, this error usually indicates the problem with the system files, memory drivers, or the application itself. So, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step is to go ahead and restart your PC. Sometimes, a simple restart can resolve temporary glitches causing the error. Now, once you restart your PC, try to open the problematic application and see if you're getting that error message. In case, if it opens, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now, the next step is to go ahead and increase the virtual memory memory paging file to do this you will have to go to the search window in the search window you may go ahead and type advanced system settings you will see the best match for view advanced system settings click on it once you have the system properties window under the advanced you will have to look for performance under performance you will have to go ahead and click on settings once you're on these settings under the performance option you will have to go ahead and click on advanced and then choose the option which says adjust for best performance of programs make sure it has been checked and at the same time under the virtual memory click on change and uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives select the drives where you will have to go and custom or set the paging file size and then click on custom size your initial size would be the one and a half times the installed ram size for example in case if your ram size is four gigs you will have to increase or set the initial size as 6000 MB and the maximum size needs to be twice or three times the installed RAM size or the initial RAM size so in this case it can be 8000 MB and this is in megabytes once this is done you may go ahead and click on set click on OK click on apply and OK and then click on OK and that will prompt you to restart your computer once your computer restarts check if you are facing the same problem in case if you are facing the same problem the next step what you could do is you can go back to your desktop and check the problematic shortcut you will have to do a right click on the problematic shortcut and then click on show more option if you see more of and then go to properties under properties you will have to go ahead and click on compatibility check the box which says run this program in compact compatibility mode for and then choose the respective windows version you may choose the latest one maybe the windows 7 would be the best fit in case if it works well and good otherwise you can choose any one from this list run the program in the compatibility mode click on apply and then click on ok try to launch the application again and that should definitely fix a problem now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step what you could do is you can go ahead and repair your system files on the computer to do this you will have to click on the search and in the search window you will have to go ahead and type cmd you will see the best match for the command prompt do a right click on the command prompt and then check the choose the option which says run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen once you have the command prompt open you will have to execute couple of command here the first command is to go ahead and you will have to go ahead and execute the command for scanning health so you can copy and paste the command from my video description you can do a right click and execute once you execute this command the next command what you will have to go ahead and execute is to go ahead and run the command to restore health you can copy and paste the command from my video description and hit enter wait until this command has been completely executed once this is done the next command what you can go ahead and execute is to run the sfc scan do a right click or paste and hit enter you will have to wait until this command has been successfully executed once this command has been successfully executed you can close this window restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved so all the steps should definitely fix the problem so in spite of trying all the step and if you're still facing a problem the last step what you could do is you can go ahead and try to update your windows so you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on these settings you may go ahead and click on windows update and then click on check for the updates and see if there are any updates to be installed in case if there are any updates to be installed go ahead and install those updates close this window restart your computer and that should fix the problem so all this step should definitely fix the problem in spite of trying all this step if you're still not able to launch the application please leave me a comment in the comment section 
so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.